Welcome back guys. We have another fun video for you today. We're testing out some body armor as you probably guessed by the title. And this stuff here is from Paddle Steel, which is a exclusive brand to Botac. So this stuff is really inexpensive when compared to other similar products out there on the market. So a lot of people want to know if it works. That's what we're going to figure out today. Uh, both these panels are the same, uh, same material rather I should say. They are uh, level 3A rated, so that's rated up to 44 Magnum. We'll put the specs up here on the screen so you guys can see that. And uh, they're standalone, so you can just use this insert um, on your armor for this one, or if you want to use a backpack armor set like this one, uh, you can do so as well. Now, I should point out that on here it says, the manufacturer certifies that this ballistic panel has been tested in accordance with NIJ standards. So uh, when you see something like that, just something to think of is that this is actually not NIJ certified. Uh, to get any product NIJ certified costs about 20 to $30,000, uh, depending on the actual product itself. So uh, they have not done that, but they've tested it to those standards, which we're gonna, like in a really rednecky kind of way do today as well so uh we'll get the target set up and uh get to shooting it let's check it out as i expected it would it stopped it just fine we had a little bit of back face deformation um, and if i actually kind of push it through you can kind of still see the bullet right there. So stopped it, didn't go that far in at all. One thing I want to point out guys is that the box that this is actually resting against is full of sand. So it should in some ways replicate, you know, if it's on your body, some sort of backing and support there. So a lot of times you see armor tests that are kind of just hanging out there in the wind, which really isn't reality. So we're trying to add a little bit of realism, but not spend a ton of money to do so. Anyway, we'll put it back down, set everything up and increase the challenge. Moving up in caliber, we have nine millimeter. It's just 115 grain stuff from uh, Minuteman Munitions fired through this uh, Beretta Langdon Tactical Edition. And uh, this is actually one of the harder rounds for armor to stop, uh, soft armor anyway. Nine millimeter light for caliber. It's going pretty fast. It has not a lot of sectional density, sort of like a, like a 45 is the opposite of that. Um, so not a lot of area to spread the force out in. So we'll see how it does. There's a bug or something on me. Check it out. We had some back face deformation for sure. Obviously the energy difference in slow-mo probably really came out from 380 to nine millimeter. Uh, we had this part tear, but from what I can tell, just looking at it, that's from actually uh, the armor impacting the cardboard and just the pressure and the friction. So no pass through, it's not even close. I, I feel it more up front than I do in the back. So handled the nine millimeter just fine. Let's set it up again. Up next, we have some 45 ACP. This is uh, some practice stuff from LAX Ammo and uh, it's a hollow point bullet and we'll see how it does. It's a hollow point for accuracy, not for um, penetration and expansion, those sorts of things, just for whatever that's worth. Fired out of a HK USP Expert. Beautiful gun, I might add. Again, we see the difference in terms of energy transfer and just how it deforms it. Now the 45 was stopped, no problem. One of the things that's uh, bad or good, depending on how you look at it, about 45 is that it's a pretty wide bullet. So it's not a good armor penetrator for sure, but it flattened out, I can feel it in there. It's doing just fine. Uh, one thing to consider if you guys are looking at soft armor versus hard armor, and this is true for hard armor as well, just to a much lesser uh, degree, is that obviously you can see this thing is deforming um, as it's actually, uh, ooh, I feel it, hold on, ADD moment, maybe, I think I lost it. It's moving around, there it is. So yeah, here's the bullet, it's quite, it's a little bit warm still. There it is, so that's what it looks like when it was stopped. But um, what I was getting at is that, that energy transfer is still going to be there. So if you get shot uh, wearing these, it's going to get your attention and 
Uh, it's not going to feel great, but it's going to feel a whole lot better than if you didn't have it on. Anyway, we're going to continue stepping it up, see if we can get this sucker to fail at some point. Next load up is going to be some 180 grain Swift A-frame here from Federal. It is a 357 Magnum load. This is the hot load. Um, I've shot this one before in a few different tests. We have my uh, Model 19 here from Smith & Wesson. It's a beautiful gun. And it's got a four and a quarter inch barrel, so it's going to be moving. And uh, we'll see how it does. Let's check it out. Looks like it had some power going with it, huh? Uh, so you guys can see here, there's not a pass through. It actually just tore the back cover. I'm gonna try to straighten it out a little bit and see if we can kind of see where it was. There we go. And actually, that bullet might not have penetrated much at all. Okay, so there was our impact. You guys can probably see, if I can move this around enough, that it's still, it just barely penetrated the actual bullet itself. It just barely penetrated the first layer. Um, now, of course, there's multiple layers and I can feel it in the back as well. And that's pretty darn good. 3.7 Magnum and 44 Magnum are definitely the hardest of the rated calibers to stop uh, for soft armor. So it is rated for that. And uh, we'll sort of flatten it out here and uh, really step it up here next. I'm sure you guys guessed it from the title, but we are indeed going 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum here. And this is like the worst round you could pick uh, or a better way to say it, the most likely to penetrate. This is the 275 grain Barnes uh, expander. So uh, for those who don't know, 275 grain is really lightweight for 500 uh, Smith & Wesson Magnum. So if, if any 500 Magnum is going to get through it, it's going to be this. I want to preface this by saying this armor is not rated for this at all in any way. Everything it's rated for, which we already just shot, it passed. So in terms of level 3 armor, it passed. This is somewhat for my curiosity and, of course, mostly for entertainment. Uh, gun we have here is our Smith & Wesson Magnum. This has the 8-inch uh, barrel on there, and I've shot this a bunch. When you shoot it, it feels like you got hit in the hand with a baseball bat, and uh, I, can't, I can't imagine what it would feel like getting hit with it. Woo! All right. Hopefully I don't flinch and we actually get a hit. Oh, <laughs> nasty. That is the damage. This was stuck in the box, as you guys probably saw in the slow-mo, uh, which is awesome. Um, so it stopped it, for sure. However, in terms of deformation, we got about six inches there. Uh, if you took this round in your chest, which is there's like a zero percent chance that would happen there's not a lot of 500 smith and wesson magnums out there in circulation never mind a criminal actually being able to get a hit with one yeah good luck with that but anyway uh if you were actually to do that it would feel terrible i'm just gonna kind of pull this out now because i don't think i can get it back in there but it'll give you actually a good idea of how this stuff's constructed so you guys can see there has these polyethylene uh layers and while they're apart now, that's because of obviously impacts from the bullet. But when they're actually put together, they're heated in a certain way that bonds them together, that gives them a ton of strength um, and resistance to pass through. So that's what you guys are seeing here. And I don't know if I can, nope. What was that? There's the 380 that we shot through earlier, it just fell out. It was in between the layers. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to find this. If I can, I'll, I'll, I'll show it to you guys, but I'm, I'm impressed. It uh, did quite well for sure. Oh, there it is. I see it. All right, let's see where it went through. So I can tell you there's actually quite a few layers left that it didn't pass through. Yeah, there are. That's absolutely true. So all of these layers, that's probably 20 or 30 layers. It didn't pass through. If you guys can see that. Yeah, there it is, right there. Woo! I'm shit. Yeah. It's definitely a little bit warm. Woo! But that is it. That is our 500 Smith & Wesson Magnum Beast. Check that thing out. 
it's definitely still warm. Whew. Did a good job there, plate carrier. I am impressed. I'm going to, again, this is obviously not anywhere near in spec anymore, but just for fun, I'm going to tape this together and then we're going to try another round on it that I think some of you guys might be interested in. With a little bit of E4 Mafia engineering, we taped it all together. So we're going to set it down there, shoot it again, see what it can do. Again, guys, this thing is totally out of spec now, but we're having fun. Let's do it. The last toy up that we're going to use here is FN57. This is some American Eagle 40 grain stuff. For those of you guys that don't know, this stuff is humming out of this barrel. It's sort of, it's a bottleneck round. So it's sort of like a, uh, a rifle round and a pistol. This isn't the stuff designed to penetrate armor. Of course, that was one of the requirements for this pistol. Uh, but this stuff is still nasty and it penetrates armor very, very well. Um, so we'll see how it does. I'll stop now. Post down below, just pause the video. And do you think it will go through or not? I think it will. We'll see. Let's check it out. It didn't go through. How crazy is that? It stopped five seven even after being beat to crap. Let's see where it stopped if I can. Dude, that's crazy. All right, so there it is. There's the bullet. Yeah, that one's really hot. That's your 5.7 right there, American Eagle stuff. And that's less than half of the actual layers of this plate. That's pretty impressive performance, guys. Um, yeah, I, I color me impressed. Again, I thought it was gonna go through. So not even half. Should we shoot, should we shoot it again? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I knew you were going to say that. All right, we're going to shoot it again. I know I said before that that was the last one with the uh, 5.7. I lied because I totally thought it was going to go through. Uh, however, this really should go through. Uh, we have 150 grain. This is Fioki full metal jacket, supersonic stuff. However, it's only in a seven and a half inch barrel here on this Caracal 814 pistol. Uh, it's still going supersonic for sure. And it still has the shape of a rifle bullet, which makes a huge difference um, in terms of penetration. Uh, so we'll set it up and see what it does. Again, I thought the 5.7 was going to go through. I think this is going to go through, but man, I've been proven wrong. So let's find out. Let's check it out. From the lack of back face deformation, many of you guys guessed it. It definitely punched through. We entered here and came out the back for sure. Again, it is not rated to stop supersonic the random blackout. I mean, that's like shooting a 30 carbine at it. Um, so it's moving. Um, but yeah, pretty impressive performance nonetheless. Let's wrap it up here. As I alluded to earlier in the video, guys, the thing that really is impressive about this stuff, it's not just the performance, the weight, etc., it's the fact that it's so inexpensive. I believe the uh, 10 by 12 one that we shot up right now is $49 shipped over at Botac. And they actually sell this little kind of like uh, very basic body armor kit that has two of those inserts in there. They sell that thing for $99. So if you want to get into armor at a low price point, that's going to stop the overwhelming majority of threats that you're going to face as a civilian. It's definitely something I'd take a look at if you're on a tight budget for sure. Um, yes, you know, is level four better than 3A and all that stuff. In terms of stopping bullets, it is. In terms of weight, it's not. I can tell you that much. This one here, uh, which is 11 by 14, I believe, weighed in at 17 ounces on my scale, and the 10 by the 10 by 12 was 15 ounces. So, I mean, you're talking only two pounds. I need to have front and rear armor that can stop pistol rounds. And again, guys, just look around the statistics. The FBI statistics are out there. Um, criminals almost never use uh, rifle rounds. Almost never. You're more likely to be killed by a hammer. That's not hyperbole. That's actually true, um, according to their their FBI's data. So, uh, pistols are the most likely thing you're going to face for sure. If you guys have kids and you want to stick this in their backpack, um, it's going to stop. Again, pistols being the most likely. However, if you have a couple books in there, I'd, I'd take my chances uh, that it would stop a lot of rifle rounds as well if you're concerned with that. Now, of course, 
I'm not guaranteeing that, I'm just making a point um, that it probably would stop it. But yeah, for the price point, guys, I'm gonna say these are a go for sure. Uh, one thing to think about, I did some polyethylene um, or UHMPWE, whatever the heck they're called, uh, reviews and tests before in the past. And one thing I pointed out is that here on the back, it'll say that it has a five year shelf life. I think that is, uh, that is an abundance of caution by the NIJ. Um, for those, again, quick history for everybody, they, they used to use this stuff again with a Z. I can never think of the name of it off the top of my head. Back in the late 80s and early 90s, and it was uh, armor that cops used a lot. What they found was that over time, particularly with heat, uh, that stuff would degrade and it wouldn't offer the performance that they were actually saying it did. Um, so because of that, the NIJ now is super, super, uh, conservative in terms of how they rate how good armor and how long armor is uh, rated to last for. Um, but I would feel comfortable with this for sure beyond five years being able to stop stuff. Um, the UHMPW, polyethylene, whatever the heck it's called, um, armor types of uh, setup, whether they be soft armor like this or hard armor, has been around now. Uh, it's been in use for about 15, 20 years, and it's got a good track record for sure. Um, as long as you're not using AP stuff, it'll stop most rifle rounds. That's if you're using the level three, not 3A. So it does a good job, especially for the weight, and that really is key. I know a lot of folks are getting older, uh, have injuries myself. I have a bunch of back injuries from my time in the military, and uh, carrying around heavy plates is just not something I look forward to in any way. Um, so when I can reduce that, I do. So. I think that's pretty much it guys of course links for all this stuff will be down below in the video description uh, let me know what you guys think if you're interested in it if you're not I'm definitely uh, looking forward to hearing that uh, if you guys aren't subscribed yet go ahead and hit that subscribe button even if you are subscribed if you're not seeing three videos a week at minimum for me coming through in your uh, youtube feed make sure you hit the notification bell um, because a lot of guys aren't seeing them from everything I, I, i'm seeing in the feedback i get but i put out three videos a week minimum every week almost without fail so uh, if you guys aren't seeing them go ahead and hit that notification bell even if that's the case you've already clicked it you're still not seeing them uh, sign up for my email list over at facebook.com uh, slash mr guns and gear you'll see the sign up button same thing at my website if you guys don't want to go to facebook for whatever reason mr guns and you see the sign up tab and i send out a weekly email with uh, all the videos of the week plus a bunch of good deals that i find along the way that i can pass on to you guys to give you guys uh, some added value for being uh, viewers to the channel so uh, that's it that's my spiel <laughs> that's it for now thanks for watching guys truly appreciate it and i hope to see all of you in the next video